He was known to many as Code Jimmy, and he knew the cost of standing up to Myanmar's military. Jo Min Yu, a veteran pro-democracy activist, had already spent 15 years in prison protesting against previous military regimes. Even though he had been found guilty on counter-terrorism charges in January, few expected the death sentence to be carried out. When we saw this news, we were very sad. Actually, the junta shouldn't have done this. It should not happen. This is like the junta is officially challenging the public. Pure Zia To, another of those executed, was a prominent lawmaker who'd been an MP in Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy since 2012. A former hip-hop artist, he'd become the face of a youth movement that came to power in the first democratic elections a decade ago. The executions are the first in Myanmar since 1989 and are thought to have taken place at Insane Prison in Yangon, where relatives tried to reclaim the bodies of the dead men on Monday. Calls for clemency from other Southeast Asian nations, including a letter written personally to junta leader Min Aung Lai by Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen, have clearly had little impact. This is sending a message to the Myanmar people, first and foremost, uh, to try to intimidate them, but it's also a uh, backhanded way of uh, Min Aung Lai telling ASEAN that, uh, butt out, uh, that they don't want uh, advice from ASEAN. Uh, they just want ASEAN to serve as a shield. But protests against the military government are unlikely to stop, like this flash mob opposing the death sentences. Rights groups estimate more than 2,000 people have been killed by the military since the coup, yet the protesters show no sign of backing down. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera.